Alright, so here we got the old uh, V4 Wisconsin. That's the size you see every day. And that is a big old sucker here. Um, that was a sale. And he wanted this motor, and they were both sitting on the same pallet, so he got them both. Uh, on a 200 bucks for a pair of them, I think, something like that. But anyway, um, that's the biggest Wisconsin I ever saw. It's a VR4D. Uh, and the cool part, it um, it came with a book. So at the uh, the sale there, he didn't. Nobody noticed it. They were setting it underneath here on that pallet. He got the book. All that. It's not locked up. I guess we'll fool with it at some point. I don't know what we really. It's not exactly loose either. I don't know what we'd ever do with it. We'll fool with it sometime. But, uh, he wanted this one. So that's the same engine it's in the straw blower. Just to have a spare. And our, our metal's in rough shape. This has got good, nice sheet metal on them. So uh, that was uh, the main idea. But, uh, yeah. I'll go up here and find that book. Because there's something cool in there. So here's a book for the V4D Wisconsin, the big one. And I was looking at it there the other night when he got all his stuff home. And uh, we were talking about it. He says, I wonder what that murder cost knew. And we just, I just happened to uh, look at it through this book. And here's the air cooled engine price list, dated June 1st, 1960. There's. Yeah, VE4, VF4, VH4, you know, all that different stuff. And v, VR4D, that big one, $778 new. Uh, the starter, generator, and distributor, that was like an option, I guess, for the starter and the generators. Another $76. The clutch was $142. Um, if you wanted to run it off propane, that cost extra. The clutch reduction, I guess for like a gearbox, that was another $333. But I just thought that was really cool. It had everything laid out there. And on the other side, it's got the it's got the single and the two cylinder engines on this side. I don't know if you can see that, if anybody you know, cares, that's just kind of interesting. That's not something you see every day. I just thought that was kind of cool. So, and the, uh, so the, Sometimes it's just cool to look at the books on some of this stuff as the actual machines that sell. There's all the stuff here. Clutch stuff. Yeah, that's a clutch it had. That's a Rockford clutch. Kind of cool. I think I was looking somewhere in here. It said that that. Where was it? There. VR4D, the horsepower. That, that big engine will put out 56 horsepower. So, 255 cubic inch displacement on that. Four and a quarter bore, four and a half inch stroke. So, I just thought that was kind of cool. When you get, get the book with something, that, that's cool.